Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. I gotta be honest, I am so excited that my brand new book, Crazy Happy, Nine Surprising Ways to Live the Truly Beautiful Life is out, it's released. I know you might be kind of bored of me talking about it, but I, I don't know why you would be bored. Listen, people all the time say, man, doesn't God want me to be happy? And the answer is, is yes. The alternative is that we're miserable, and, and who wants to be miserable? But here's the deal. It's one thing to know about God's plan for happiness, and it's another thing to actually put feet on it and walk it on out every single day. So I want to share you a, a little nugget, that you, and there's so much more, and I would love for you to get a copy of the book. Listen, I read it uh, on the audiobook version. You can get it for Kindle. You can get it a paper book, uh, wherever you like to buy books. Just go on wherever you get it. Get yourself a copy, because we explore these surprising ways that, that God's plan for happiness is found. And, and that's what we call crazy happy because God's plan for happiness is found in crazy places. Here's one. Oftentimes people think that joy is, is a life that is uh, divorced from any sort of pain and suffering. But actually, the Bible teaches that God's plan for happiness actually involves mourning and sadness. Jesus said, blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. Oh, how happy are the people who are heartbroken and mourning at what's going on because then the Spirit can bring the comforter. And of course, there's that famous verse in the Psalms that says, though the sorrow may last for the night, the joy comes with the morning. See, here's the deal. God's plan for our happiness is not a life devoid of suffering. It's one that incorporates mourning and suffering into the journey. And the reason you and I can be truly joyful, have crazy happiness, is when something is breaking our heart, we know that's not the end of the story. That God is a great God of redemption. Isn't that, oh, this is such good news. And listen, I talk so much more about it in the book. So that's what I do. I want you to share this video because I know right now people that you know are going through hard things. They're, they're heartbroken. They think this can't be God's. Well, no, no, listen. God wants to leverage this because God wants to give us his perspective by his Holy Spirit that he is a good God and that he can redeem the most heartbreaking things in our world. And in the comment section, share a story about something that was heartbreaking, but God turned it and brought beautiful fruit out of it so that we can be encouraged together. And God bless you.